David is actually still here until tomorrow, and he's still on call until <laughs> midnight on the 31st of December. So we, we, we know how to come with all, all our doing <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <we're> that. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's it's good that Maureen, our chair, is here, uh, having. Uh, been on the receiving end of, of David's services for so long as, as, a, as a non as a non executive director and as, as chair of the trust. Have <laughs> <laughs> that microphone is off. Yeah. Oh, God, we all flushed it. Well, I said something dreadfully ambiguous from the far end there. I'm really, really grateful that the microphone was off. Yeah, um, also Andy, who was, uh, I think, uh, David's manager when, when he first came into the trust. Um, 
David came into the trust out, out of a shared service, as, as did I, and everybody knows that there's lots of good things come out of shared services. <laughs> and that's, it's, it's only when you come out of them that yeah. things really become good. Um, and the, the, the best thing that came out of a shared service, I think, in, in, into the distrust at that time was, was the, the, the very professional um, service that, uh, that, that David has provided. Uh, and I think in, in Working with David, I've I found uh, that he, he always can provide that, that great mixture of, of being able to add something from the professional side, and, and he's, he's not frightened to, to be able to push something which is uh, very much the professional's angle, because we know that that can add something significant to, to uh, the, the very practical work that we all have to do. And, and I think it, it's that, that great balance between uh, the, the thoughtful, um, and a professional response uh, with uh, the, the, the obvious uh, practical side that, that makes him sort of such a joy to work with. And uh, uh, I, I know that everybody in the trust is, is always uh, pretty confident uh, that, uh, that it, no, no matter what the, the media crisis might be, uh, we, we will always be able to, to reassure the media that there's no problem with DLP whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, and that generally it will be absolutely true. <laughs> Um, I've, I've also I've admired him in working with David the, the way in which he's been able to, to give himself so completely to his job and at the same time give himself completely to his family, which uh, is, is uh, I think my, my definition of a, of a good work-life balance. And, and, uh, and D David was one of the few people who had the courage to do it but by actually uh, taking a, a formal cut in, in his working hours and, and what goes with that uh, to, to, to actually uh, d devote himself uh, properly and fully to, to his family life. And, and uh, I'm, I'm really pleased that, that he's been able to do that. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I hope that despite the fact that I guess you're working full time in, in the future, uh, you, you'll still be able to, to, to maintain that balance uh, that, that keeps the, the, the joy of, of family life going. Um, I, I only wish that I were more of a football fan, um, because I, I know that it's, it's something that's dear to, to David's heart, uh, being a great Liverpool fan, but uh, I have to admit that there was a football conversation going on the other day between David and Terry, and, and it could have been about anything as far as I was concerned. I just didn't, didn't, didn't understand what the, the important points were of it, but uh, uh, I'm, I'm uh, really pleased that you, you get that joy, and I'm only too sorry that I've not been able to go there with you, because uh, I remember when, uh, when um, Colin Dale left, who was Pat Shelby's predecessor as the, the Director of Nursing, Martin talked about how, how lonely it was being a football supporter. In, in, in this building because there are so many people who don't understand the offside rule. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm glad you had that pleasure. Um, we do wish David all the best in, in his new, in new role. Um, he's he's go, going to be go, going far, far and not far because you've not sold your house yet, have you? So, so we, we wish you well in being able to, to sell the, the property uh, whenever you want to, because I know you're trying to sort of juggle lives between here and, uh, and, and Essex. Uh, but when, when you do manage to do that, uh, we, we will we'll be sorrowful in saying goodbye to you from Hampshire, but in, in, in the meantime, we're, we're hoping that we will be seeing you again, um, but that we won't have to call too much on, on your services over the Christmas period. Um, David, um, I, I have been uh, very privileged to, to have had the, the, the comms team with, within the HR directorate for, for the last year or so. Uh, um, no, nobody really was sure how, how the, the two would fit together, but uh, as with everything else David does, um, it, it, it added a new dimension and, and gave, gave something extra to, to the, the, the work of, of the directorate. And uh, you know, I, I think any directorate that was lucky enough to, to have David's team based in it would, would, uh, would feel that there was a, a lot that was being added. Um, I think it's the appropriate time now to, to, to pass on one, one or two gifts to you. Um, but I'll, I'll leave a, a card here which I hope everybody has, has managed to sign. Um, there are a number of people from around the Trust who have registered that, that they're uh, um, dismayed that they weren't going to be able to be here, but at least have signed the card. 
Uh, this is a gift which, uh, according to Vicky, is, is, is likely to, to be your, your main present and something that you really, really value, so, something that you, you are into. Uh, and so we, we hope you. that when, when you're reading that, that's not too much of a clue. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's not, not chocolates. Uh, <laughs> that you will be thinking about this. And, and also, if, if life gets a little bit too many, there are one or two other things oh. here. Um, we have some rather specific instructions about your, your taste in wine, which I'm not sure whether, whether we've been able to follow to the letter. Um, but um, I'm not quite sure whether, whether um, fruits of the forest tones is what you're saying, the raspberry tones, but um, I hope so. Fantastic. Um, yeah, it may not be everybody's taste. No. <laughs> taste. I have a real passion for this at the moment. That's brilliant. Thank you very much. Uh, I was very impressive on myself because I told them I was in my new job I'm going to that I was well into social marketing and I knew quite a lot about it at the interview and I, I thought I'd better learn up about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brilliant, thank you. Uh, let me give you clues about these as well. You've oh, I guess I was you, may, you may want to say that as well as it's open. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> so that's it. That, this is it, David. David's been doing so much to, to make life easier for me when he's gone, and, and uh, I've been pushing him beyond the call of duty to, to make the interim arrangements and, until we appoint a successor. We found it so hard to find somebody who could fill David's shoes, and we've not managed to do it yet. Uh, maybe uh, we'll find somebody eventually, but uh, it, it will never be David. Uh, and <laughs> we'll miss you very much. Thank you very much for everything that you've done, David. Thank you. my turn to say a few words now. Uh, I'm dreading this. Um, because it's not, it's not my job to be in front of the camera, it's my job to be behind it, directing everybody else. And we weren't expecting a camera. <laughs> no, I certainly were. <laughs> Thank you, Carl. Um, when I first started, my first ever day in doing uh, PR communications jobs, um, I went during my trainings and my induction for it, they said to me, whatever you do, don't get in front of the camera. If you get in front of the camera, you have to buy cakes for the office. That's the rule. That's the sort of tradition handed down from PR practitioner to PR practitioner through generations. First day in the job, I was meeting Gordon Brown. I mean, not just me, but we're doing an event where Gordon Brown was. And I was working with some new dealers uh, through the, you know, the, the, the government's New Deal program. And they were really nervous about meeting Gordon Brown. So there I was, briefing them. Don't worry about it, it's going to be very nice. It's a very nice gentleman, I've met him before. I was doing this, and Gordon Brown was being interviewed by the 9 o'clock news at the BBC, and there I was over Gordon Brown's shoulder talking to this new dealer going, <laughs> on television, not on just local, but national television. So I've been very careful ever since to be behind the camera. Although Carl tells me he's got me on a few shots. <laughs> like Alfred Hitchcock, he appears in all my films. <laughs> Slightly back to the camera as well, so I can carry on there. Um, I mean, I, can I say, it's been wonderful working here. I've, I've learned an awful lot. I came in to this job as a press officer. I was going to say lowly press officer, but it wasn't a lowly press officer. I've always been encouraged to uh, push my horizons in this organisation and support it through training. Um, and it's certainly paid off, and I've really enjoyed it. And I've, one of the things I've re I really enjoyed about the job is, is for what we work for. Uh, working for people with mental health problems and learning disabilities, and I, I might be a bit evangelical, but actually it really matters, because on those really gritty days, uh, in the middle of winter, when you really can't be bothered, sometimes it, it makes it worthwhile coming in and dealing with that press inquiry and saying, no, it's not like this at all, you have to change your mindset, something is different and, and about this trust and the way we do business, and that's been a real privilege and I've really enjoyed it. And one of the reasons that's been so good is because the people around me have felt that, and it's never been difficult to knock on somebody's door and say, we've got to deal with this press inquiry. Come on, I suggest we say something like X, Y, and Z. And that person has always stepped forward and said, I agree. And I think that's really important. And, and that makes it my job easier and makes me look even better than, <laughs> than Bernard thinks I am. Because I'm not doing the work, somebody else is. Um, but I think it, it helps and makes a difference. And, I, and I'm, I'm really proud uh, to have had this opportunity to learn in such an environment from so many brilliant people. Um, I, don't, I don't know what much more I can say really, um, I'm, I'm really sorry to leave I have to say, but I, I, equally it's a really good and exciting opportunity so I'm going to grab it with both hands. But if I actually, just before I do leave, there's a, a story I've told at a few events and presentations I've been, I'm, I'm sorry if you've all heard it, but it concerns Alistair Campbell. Um, 
I uh, went was on a, an event that this trust support, uh, supported me on uh, a few years ago, and Anthony Campbell was there, and he was doing a, a presentation and a meeting him and learning all about the, how we should do good public relations and so on. But he told us this story uh, at a lunchtime, um, and it concerned the time when he was training to be in the London Marathon, and he was doing lots of training runs uh, because, uh, uh, across London. And one day he was running through Hyde Park, and he saw uh, a poor chap being attacked by two or three other people. And he thought for a few moments and thought, well, should I get involved or should I just leave this be? But being quite fit, as he's in his training, and quite a big chap, he decided to get involved. So he ran across, charged across to these people, screaming and shouting, and they all scattered, leaving this poor chap on the floor. So Alice Campbell went up to him, helped him up to his feet, um, and asked if he was okay. And, and the chap was just completely bowled over that somebody had bothered to get involved and couldn't believe how much, uh, how, he was so grateful that Alice Campbell had gone to all this trouble. And, and I asked him, so well, don't worry about it. He said, um, you know, it's the very least I can do. Can I make sure, take you home, I'll take you to the hospital, and make sure you're all right. So he took the poor chap wherever he wanted to go. And he was just about to leave him, and I asked him, said, look, I think I've got a really good look at those people. So if this does come to court, um, I'm happy to stand as a witness and, and do whatever else I can. And the chap was, oh, he said, that's just amazing. He said, you've already done more than enough for me. That, that would be brilliant. Thank you. So, and I asked him, I said, well, here's my card. And if you need me, contact me on any of those numbers. So the chap took the card and looked at it and said, Alistair Campbell, you're Alistair Campbell. And he said, yep. Yeah. He said, no thanks, I can't f***ing stand you. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that sums up no matter what you do, you can't get much your own reputation. So thank you. <laughs> One more thing I'd like to do, which, which is that, uh, that since mo most of you know that uh, David isn't the only one that's leaving the service in, in the next few days, and that some of you won't be here on the 28th of December, which is Vicky's last day, uh, I would just like to take this opportunity to pass over this, this small bouquet. Come on, Vicky. As a gesture of the appreciation we, we have for the service that you've provided to the Thank trust. You. Uh, well done. Uh, Vicky came to us uh, on a, a placement during her degree um, and we, we obviously uh, were, were very keen to, to obtain her, her professional services uh, on, a, on a longer term basis once the degree was, was finished uh, and so she came back to us um, f firstly um, as, as really a, a direct succession to her training post and, and has developed into um, a, a fuller um, communications officer role since that time. But unfortunately, we weren't able to, to develop the post e even further to, to, to retain the services that limit to what, what we can do. Um, but we're really pleased that you've, you've found a good slot within um, Portsmouth City PCT. Uh, and we, we wish you all the very best there. We're, we're discussing that really we should have a, a decent succession plan where, whereby people are, are able to, to stay within the trust. Uh, but uh, I think the second best thing is that we, we know where you are, Locally, and, and uh, the, the very next time when we're looking for a, a communications a head of media and communications, uh, that then uh, we, we'll know where we're looking for one application from. So, uh, thank you very much indeed, Vicky, for everything that you've done as well. Thank you. Um, thank you. So it would be unfair to ask you to say anything at all, but of course you are free to say absolutely anything you'd like to. I'd like to say thank you, really. <laughs> <Yes>. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and there's still plenty of cakes. And plenty of juice. Right. And if you don't eat it, uh, then I will. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's try and get some folks in there. Right. Mr. Thank you. you might like to have the chair of the trust on at least one of the photographs. Yes. If you're um, able to be photographed yet again today, Maureen. Maureen can photograph the achievement If you want me, I'll do a photograph. Yeah. But yeah. I understand yeah. if you don't. No, don't worry. Please do. Well, let's do Vicky's one first because she's dying to get her there. Save me eating the cake. Right. Thank you. 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 <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's all right. Rob, yeah. Get them close, pretend you like them. It's always the same old jokes, you know. That's the thing. Where do you think I get them from? Can somebody, can somebody do me a favour and come and hold this concrete out of the way? I'm not sure. Yeah, so he sort of encroaches into the, into the picture. That's fantastic. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Right, here we go. Bring them down a little bit, that's it, fantastic. Right, 
Uh, as long as everybody's looking happy, but I know you're not used to being on this side. Can't believe I'm on this side. Outside of the camera. camera. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Put your arm around and pretend you know her. Lovely, yeah. And again. Keep going. Lovely. And again. Lovely. Right. Both of you give her a kiss on each cheek, please. Thank you. Oh Go on. You can do it. <laughs> <laughs> no hiding behind the flowers. It's against our trust policies. Bro. Well, I just saw you do it once when the camera wasn't there. Here we go then. Go on, quick. Last one for that. Thanks. Mm. Well done. Thank you. Can you do it again? No. From the, all right. Oh, yeah, happy, smiley little team. Oh, fantastic. Lovely, yeah. And again, lovely, yeah. That's one for that.